said, I'm not doing that. I'm not bending over. Okay? But an average person, man, you crazy, man. I, I suck around for $50 million. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. So you say, <laughs> since this is spiritual Egypt, taking on the custom of Egypt, you're saying Egypt was just as polluted as here. What's that, brother? Hallelujah. That's all right. You say Egypt. Read that again. America is known as spiritual Egypt. And Egypt was just as polluted as that. And right, Egypt was known for what? Captivity, slavery. Egypt. Ancient Egypt. Okay, that's where we came up with Moses and the Israelites. Joshua. You gotta read your Bible. Dust the cobwebs off your Bible, brother. Okay, Bible. Best instructions before leaving earth. That's why the most I set the true teachers before you. Okay. Okay. And I want your number before you watch your earphone. No, no, I want your number before you leave here. Listen, man, if you don't give me a number, there's gonna be problems, yeah. brother. Okay, read that again. And there, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So spiritually called America's known, they, they used Barack Obama to pass a same-sex marriage. Because no other president would have been able to pass that same-sex marriage law. They see how he's real smooth. And the first thing they do, when, whenever Barack Obama says something, they say, Bible. So now when, when everything goes wrong, when they say, all you see was the black president that we gave you. And you guys fell for it. Oh, we got a black president. Like you thought you was going to have Kool-Aid now and fried chicken in the White House. Okay, what has changed for the so-called black man since Barack Obama became president? Nothing. It's your last chance to give up your phone number, bro. Yo, just give okay. me your information, bro. It's your last chance to give up your phone number. Yeah, Listen, don't give me we, your talk about, we talk about your life right here, brother. Give me your the information. The life you say may be your own. I'm telling you, give me your information. You're not trying to give it. Why? Well, so I got to give it. You don't want to yeah. get yours. I'm going to give it to you. Right you got it right there? You got, you got your, because I got to go, though. Write, write my number up there, Thalmo. Give me your number. You want to take mine? Let me get I yours. Saw my, I saw my right oh, my number. Well, listen. I, 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 I got no pen. Listen. You got no pen. If, if I don't get a call for you, I'm sending some angel to come look for you. I'm do doing that. it right now. Do that. I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, do that. Do <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, be careful what you say, What's brother. What's your number? Deuteronomy 2868. Oh, I can take the fire? Deuteronomy 2868. That's what I was asking. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again, again with ships. Again with ships. Hey, anyone. A second time. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see, like no like shall see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again, meaning what? Our homeland. I hear what he's saying, but a lot of people say okay. a lot of things. Let me do my research, I'm gonna figure it out, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So That's the most has brought us back. I gotta be taught, because I keep teaching you now. So a lot of our people, give me Romans 13 verse 11. A lot of our people make excuses, they don't got no time. Where you going? Where you going right now? Where you going? Where you gotta go? They go to the club, right? And I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta go to the club, right? Tell the truth. You go to the club. Tell the truth. So you went and got a new pair of shoes or something, go to the club. These new pairs, you don't see the stage. No, I said in your bag. What's in the bag? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, boy. You got the stash for later tonight. Yep. Got that stash. Yeah. See? It ain't seven. It ain't seven. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, but, but you you leaving the word of the most high. Uh, I'm telling you, I got an appointment. <laughs> you got an appointment to the club. <laughs> Come on, brother, keep it real. Read that. Romans 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time. And what? Knowing the time. So what time? Let everybody say, I know what time it is. What time is it? It's time that our people become obedient to this Bible. Okay? Stop putting off tomorrow what you can do today. Okay? Listen. It's not a coincidence that you heard this word. So why are you leaving? I got some work to be. Where, you gotta get ready for the party tonight? No party you gotta tonight. get the honeys. Look, you got a haircut. All that you get ready for tonight. I ain't got no haircut. Huh? I got some busted shoes. You talking about a haircut. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> got no, Read that again. <laughs> Romans 13, 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Well, right, it's high time to wake out of sleep. A lot of our people are asleep. They sleep on drugs. Okay. Sleep on education, philosophies, ideologies. Okay. But now it's time that we got to come back to this Bible before it's too late. 
it's hard times to wake out of sleep. Christ, a so-called black man, a Masha Gahawashah, is about to make his second return. And a lot of our people are going to be caught off guard. Why? Because he said this. He said he's going to come back like a thief in the night. So well, let me ask you a question. When a thief is coming and breaking to your house, does he, does he warn you? Does he leave a note and say, listen, John, uh, I'm coming to your house at so-and-so time. Could you mind leaving the door open? No. When he comes back, a lot of people are going to be caught off guard. Because why? You know what? He said, well, I, I'll do it next week. I, you know, the brothers told me that. But you know what? I'll wait till next month when I get myself ready. How do you know when he's coming back? He might come back tomorrow. Are you going to be ready? Yeah. But what happens when he comes oh, back? Oh, boy. Hold on. What happens when he comes back, though? What happens? What happens? Give me Isaiah 615. Let's see. Is he, is he cutting heads or is he helping people out? Let's see if he's going to hand out chocolates and all day suckers yeah, it was or flowers. On. Let's see what the Messiah is going to do when he comes back. Wait. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, Hamashiach Yahushua will come with fire. Read that was written. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. With what? With fire. So when you see a fire, what happens? Right. No, when you see what happens, stuff burns. Yeah. Okay, read that again. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Those chariots are those so-called UFOs. We know them as IFOs. Okay, they identify a fire. And we know those so-called UFOs are the vehicles of Abasha Yahushai and the Holy Angels. They can travel in any form, but they also travel in the so-called UFOs. Okay, come on. To render his anger. To do what? To render his anger. To render his anger, come on. With fury. With who? With fury. With what? Fury. With fury, anger, come on. And his rebuke with flames of fire. Come on. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. So what do you do with a sword? You do butter bread? What do you do with it? You cut. You slay people. Come on. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Come on. And the slain and the who? The slain. And the what? The slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, the church said, well, God is all love. For God so loved the world, John 3, 16. They don't know the true Christ. When he comes, he said, the slain of the Lord shall be many. A lot of people are going to be put to death. Two-thirds of our people are going to be put to death. Israelites. Two-thirds two of our people are going to be put to death. Shit. But if you don't cross that line, you may be that two-thirds. You just say he comes down here to kill black folks. That's right. Those that don't want to repent come back to this Bible. What happened to everybody else? One-third of our people are going to make it. What about everybody the else? The other nation is going into captivity. Okay. The so-called white man is going to be our slave. He's going to be the new, he's going to be the new Uncle Ben on the rice box. That's kill. right. After we go in the kingdom, they're going to be our slave. Hey, man. Give me, give me Revelation 13 and 9. I know you're passionate. Man, what have I been learning in Sunday school? No, Absolutely gonna, nothing. I mean, I'm just trying to say. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> nothing. We're looking forward to seeing two, two thirds of black folks get chopped up. But if you already, why are you complaining? Well, the reason about the, most, the most the most I requires a blood sacrifice. In order for one third to make it, two thirds got to die. Gotcha. Right, that's that's how the most I deal. Okay, right. hold that. Give me Exodus 15 and 3. Let me show you what type of God that we serve. His son. Read that. Exodus 15, verse 3. Exodus 15 and 3. The Most High is a man of war. He's what? A man of war. Read it where it's written. The Lord is a man of war. Now, just in case you, you think, well, maybe he's a woman. Because I heard someone tell me, somebody said he's a man and a woman. Okay, read that again. They said he's a spirit. I heard all kind of, they said he's a rainbow. Read that again. Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. So what happens in a war? Die. People die. So that's, what ha that's what's going to happen when the Messiah comes back. Okay, people are going to die. Okay, when you read the book of Revelation, it says what? That his garment is going to be dipped in blood. He's going to come with a white garment on his horse, but when he's finished, it's going to be what? All red. All the people that he's going to kill. And that's not the Antichrist. About that's the Messiah. You give me that in, in the Revelation. Ain't you know, that? Yeah. Okay. What about you, brother? Read the Bible. 
Huh? I do, I do. See, our people are the real Jews, according to the Bible. What's going to happen when Donald Trump gets in office is going to force a lot of our people to come back to the Mosai. Because a lot of our people are too comfortable living here in America. Okay? Now, for Donald Trump to win 70% in Florida, what is that showing you? That those white people have the same mindset as Donald Trump. When Donald Trump says that the blacks and Hispanics are thieves and murderers, Okay, and for 70% to vote for him means what? They think just like him. But they don't have the money and the platform to say that they need does. Well, but that's not Okay? So does. what does that have to do for what are our people gonna do? We gotta come back to this Bible before it's too late. So we don't get caught up in the system. Did you know that the jail system is a is a commodity that you can buy stocks in the jail? Did you know that? That's right. You can buy stocks in a jail system. Did you, did you know that, brother? Huh? S jail system. It's considered a, you can buy a stock. If you want to invest your money, that's a stock that's, that will never go down. Okay? They sell stocks for people that want to invest. That they selling stocks in jail, prison. Don't you, they open all these prisons. And, and who is getting filled in these prisons? Blacks and Hispanics. And what is this because of? Because of our disobedience. A lot of our people don't want to take heed to this Bible, so what's going to happen? You're going to end up getting thrown in jail. All right, bro. Okay, the most high sin is out here to call back our people to repentance to come back to this Bible. You're not a Negro, you're not a black man, you're not a blood, you're not a crip. You are part of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, a holy nation. That's right. We are living in the last days according to the Bible prophecy. Don't you see over there in Korea? They keep testing these uh, 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 nuclear bombs. They shooting up missiles. You go to school? Now, what do you get before you get a major test? What do they do? What do you What do you get before that big test? You get a pre-test. You get a pre-test. So now Korea is doing all these pre-tests with the missiles for what? For the big test. That big missile, where do you think they're going to send a missile? Right here to America. So a lot of you think you're making these big long, long term plans here in America. America's on its way out. Okay? When you look in this Bible, every great nation that sits.